Hello. You have just viewed the video, Nerve Catheter Care After Surgery, which described how to take care of your nerve catheter. Now, we will go over commonly asked questions and provide you with instructions on managing your nerve catheter. While we do not expect that you will have any serious problems, we want to provide you with information on common patient experiences with a nerve catheter. If you experience a sudden increase in pain, redness, swelling, or cloudy drainage, please page the Nerve Block team at 804-828-0951, pager 2899. This is the hospital telepage system. The operator will get your contact information so that the Nerve Block team can call you back. If you get a voicemail, hang up, call back, and ask the operator to page the Nerve Block team. At the time you left the surgery center, your limb with the nerve catheter was likely numb. The numbing medication that you are now receiving at home from the pump is different from the medication that you received before surgery. As a result, you will not feel as numb at home as you did at the time of surgery. The goal of the nerve catheter is to reduce your pain medication needs. It may not eliminate all of your pain. This may require that you take additional pain medications as prescribed by your surgeon. If the pain becomes severe, even after taking your prescribed medications, please page the Nerve Block team at 804-828-0951, pager 2899. A small amount of clear liquid leaking from the nerve catheter site is normal. This does not signal a problem unless there is a large amount of drainage. Please ensure that the dressing remains in place. If the dressing becomes loose, please blot dry and reinforce with tape. If the catheter tubing becomes disconnected, as shown here, please page the nerve block team at 804-828-0951, pager 2899. The most common reason the pump may alarm or beep is due to a kinked or pinched tube. Please trace the tubing from the medication bag all the way to where it meets your skin, looking for any knots, sharp twists, or bends. If any of these are found, please straighten them out to allow unrestricted flow of medication. Take care not to pull or tug on the catheter while smoothing it out. If the clear dressing covering the nerve catheter is coming off or is loose, please use tape to reinforce it to keep it from falling off. It is important that while your nerve catheter is in place, that you do not wet or soak your catheter or the medication pump. You can take a sponge bath. It is normal to hear the pain pump purring or revving from time to time. This is the sound of the pump giving a pre-planned dose of medication. If you run out of pain medications and need a refill, please call your surgeon. At VCU, your safety, comfort, and well-being are our highest priorities. We are committed to providing you with a safe, high-quality experience. If you have any questions or concerns that I have not addressed in this video, please call the Nerve Block team at 804-828-0951, pager 2899. At VCU, we are here to serve you.